Namaskar. Welcome to India Meteorological Department. Myself, Dr. M.T. Bushair, presenting Daily Weather Briefing. In this presentation, I will be discussing about the past 24-hour weather and about the weather that we are expecting next one week. First, let's discuss about the past observed weather during past 24 hour. So, heat wave to severe heat wave conditions prevailed over uh, in isolated places over uh, Himachal Pradesh, Haryana and Rajasthan. And warm night conditions prevailed in isolated places over Haryana. And hailstorm was observed or occurred at isolated places over Assam, Meghalaya, Jammu Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, West Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, and Tripura, Marathwada, and Jharkhand. In addition to that, heavy rainfall recorded at isolated places over Sub Himalayan, West Bengal, and Sikkim, Assam, Meghalaya, and Uttarakhand. So, thunderstorm accompanied with the scholarly or gusty wind prevailed at isolated locations over Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh and Odisha. Dust storm was also observed at isolated places over East Uttar Pradesh. Now coming to the synoptic system that we observed today morning. So, there was a low pressure area over West Central Bay of Bengal and this, is, this system has become less marked. However, the associated cyclonic circulations now seen over the region's area and it extends up to 1.5 km above mean sea level. So, IMD was continuously monitoring a western disturbances. Now, it runs along longitude of 70 degree east and north of latitude 26 degree north. And the upper air cyclonic circulation over northwest Rajasthan and neighborhood at 1.5 km above mean sea level. And there was an upper cyclonic circulation over northwest Madhya Pradesh and neighborhood at 0.09 km above mean sea level. And another trough runs from the west Rajasthan to coastal Andhra Pradesh across East Rajasthan and cyclonic circulation over northeast, northwest Madhya Pradesh and Vidarbha at 0 0.09 km above mean sea level. And another trough runs from the northeast Madhya Pradesh to Bangladesh across Jharkhand and its circulation extends up to 1.5 km above mean sea level. And the, and the trough in the middle and upper tropospheric westerlies with axis at 5.8 km above mean sea level now runs roughly along 86 degree east to the north of latitude 23 degree north. The upper air cyclonic circulation over Sub Himalayan West Bengal and neighborhood at 3.1 km above mean sea level is persist and another trough runs from the above cyclonic circulation over South Himalayan West Bengal to the West Central Bay of Bengal at 3.1 km above mean sea level and the upper air cyclonic circulation over Northeast Assam and neighborhood persist over the same region and circulation extends up to 1.5 km above mean sea level. So coming to today's highlights of the presentation, so due to a Western disturbances, rainfall along with uh, thunderstorm, lightning, gusty winds, squally winds and hailstorm likely to continue over Northwest India on 11th April that is on today and over Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh on tomorrow. Thereafter, it is likely to reduce the events. So, rainfall along with the thunderstorm and lightning and gusty squally winds is likely to continue over East and Northeast India during next three days. A fresh spell of heat wave likely to commence over the parts of the northwest India and over Gujarat from 15th April. So, coming to the observations about the maximum temperature that is observed yesterday. So, yesterday the maximum temperature was in the range of 42 to 46 degrees Celsius at a few places over Rajasthan, Vidarbha, and at isolated places of Gujarat state and West Madhya Pradesh. Yesterday, the highest maximum temperature was observed over Nandurbar, that is 46.5 degrees Celsius. When coming to the departure from the normal over the northwest India, the departure from the normal was around 4.5 degree and above over many parts of the northwest India and it was below normal or near normal over remaining parts of the country. So coming to the forecast of the temperature, so we are expecting a fall in maximum temperature by 2 degrees Celsius over northwest India during next 3 days and a gradual rise by 3 to 5 degrees Celsius in subsequent 4 days. When we talk about our central India, we are expecting a fall in maximum temperature by 2 degrees Celsius and next 3 degrees Celsius and a gradual rise by 2 to 4 degrees Celsius in next subsequent 4 days. 
and our east and uh, our west india the, there is a fall in temperature we are expecting by 2 to 3 degrees celsius in next three days and then a gradual rise by 2 to 3 degrees celsius subsequent four days no significant change over rest part of the country in maximum temperature coming to the uh, multi-hazard warning with that we issued over the different parts of the country so over northwest india especially over jammu kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand and haryana punjab uh, regions we have issued uh, thunderstorm lightning with a uh, gusty wind that is 40 to 60 kmph along with a uh, hailstorm for today and a hailstorm along with the thunderstorm lightning hailstorm with the gusty wind likely to occur over uh, east mp and also over chattisgarh we are expecting a dust storm over rajasthan and we are expecting thunderstorm lightning activity over Haryana, Chandigarh regions and also over uh, West MP and Odisha, North Coastal Andhra Pradesh and also over Bihar. We are expecting heavy rainfall activity over Bihar, Sabhimalayan, West Bengal, Assam, Meghalaya and Arunachal Pradesh and also over uh, Kerala. We are expecting hot and humid conditions over Tamil Nadu for today. Over the other regions of the southern peninsula in India, uh, we are expecting thunderstorm activities, thunderstorm lightning activities on today. Coming to the warning issued for uh, day 2, that is for tomorrow. So, thunderstorm lightning, uh, gusty wind along with the hailstorm, we are expecting over Uttar Pradesh on tomorrow and also over East Madhya Pradesh on tomorrow. And we are expecting thunderstorm lightning, gusty wind over uh, Uttarakhand and also over Himachal Pradesh, uh, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha. Bihar, most parts of the eastern parts of the country and also over the southern peninsula in India and northeastern parts of the country. We are expecting heavy rainfall activity on Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya on day 2 that is for 12th April. We are expecting uh, dust storm tomorrow over Rajasthan. So coming to the warning issued for 13th April, the thunderstorm uh, lightning along with the gusty wind activity likely to occur over uh, eastern parts of the country like Odisha, Chhattisgarh, East MP, Bihar and also over East Uttar Pradesh along with uh, Madhya Maharashtra and over Kerala and most parts of the northeastern country northeastern parts of the country coming to the warning is issued for day 4 that is for 14th april 14th april also a thunderstorm lightning and gusty wind likely to occur most parts of the eastern parts of the country and also over kerala kongan goa marathwada and vidarbha regions and uh, uh, on 14th april uh, heat wave conditions uh, likely to occur over a fresh spell of heat wave likely to commence on from uh, west rajasthan and this uh, heat wave conditions likely to uh, expand more region on day 5 that is on april 15th over like uh, like uh, west rajasthan and gujarat and saurashtra kach regions on 15th April, thunderstorm lightning activity along with the gusty winds likely to occur over eastern part of the country like Gajatik, West Bengal, Odisha, Jharkhand, Bihar, Chhattisgarh and Vidarbha and also over Kerala. And heavy rainfall likely to occur over Assam, Meghalaya on 15th April. Coming to the warnings issued for 16th April and 17th April, heat wave to severe heat wave conditions likely to occur over uh, northwest, western parts of the country like Gujarat, Saurashtra, Kach, and Rajasthan and uh, uh, Punjab and Haryana Chhattisgarh region for 16th April and 17th April. So we request the public to be updated with our forecast and warning and take necessary precautions and follow the instructions issued by the district administration. Uh, we will come tomorrow with the updated forecast and warning. Till then, Namaskar.